Hi class 9 and 10 students welcome back to Bimal Sarji YouTube channel this is question number 9 exercise 7.4 OPT maths class 9 uh, same question is available or given in the exercise 7.6 question number 7 and I will provide that video link uh, in the description or in the comment box so check the video description or comment box and uh, you can follow any methods that that was other process and this i will solve in other methods okay so let's begin the solution transform the equation x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 into normal form and show that 1 by a square plus 1 by b square is equal to 1 by p square where p is the perpendicular distance of the line from the origin this p is what the perpendicular distance so now here 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 the equation is here the equation is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 now compare Compare uh, this equation. Compare this equation with with ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. Okay, compare with this okay, equation. So uh, suppose this is x and this is x. Then what we get a? A is equal to one by a. Then we get here this a is equal to in place of a there is 1 by a and in place this is y this is y okay y y so in place of b what is there 1 by b and this this is c so in place of c you can see c is in the uh, left side but here it is here it is in the right side that means when i write this equation like this x by a plus y by b and this one to uh, left side then this plus one will be what minus uh, minus one is equal to zero now when we compare with c what we get here c there is plus this is minus so c is equal to minus one you will get here okay comparing this difference okay we get what we get after comparing uh, this equation with this what we get we get a is equal to 1 by a b is equal to 1 by b and c is equal to minus 1 now i will find this okay root of a square plus b square a square plus b square now this can be written as 1 by a whole square plus 1 by b whole square when we solve this this can be written as 1 by a square because 1 square is 1 and a square is a square plus 1 square is 1 square and b square is b square sorry 1 square is 1 and b square is b, uh, b square so now divide now divide this equation okay dividing this equation divide divide the equation divide the equation with 1 by a square plus 1 by b square okay divide this equation with this so we can write here now this is x by a is as it is okay dividing means what this is our reference line see there reference line means is equal to okay this is our implies yes this reference line you can uh, this is our just like suppose if this is equal to then center is the reference line Suppose this here implies, then okay, take this center. Here below will be denominator. This will be numerator. Numerator part. This is denominator part, okay. And in the numerator also there is sometimes denominator. Okay. Like this form. A by, this is our center, okay. Like this center. This is A yeah, by B. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? so this is here x by 
Yaks Sigar, this is the form like this. So this is the reference line. Then you know your reference line is not going to be implies. So when you land like that, that's why you can use the taller, you can use the center. Then dividing this with means what? Now this can be written as here 1 by a square plus 2 by 3 by 4 and then this plus y by this b as it is and now here this part 1 by one y by b square this is okay is equal to now this one by this one by a square plus one by b square okay this we got after dividing with this now we can compare okay compare this with Compare, okay, I have written this row, now I will erase this, no need. Now comparing, comparing with x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p, okay. Compare this equation with x cos alpha plus y sin alpha. So, this is our x part and cos alpha is equal to what? 1 upon this much. Okay, when we compare, no need to write, but I will tell you. When we compare this, this equation with this, then what you will get? x, x, okay, it is okay. Then cos a, cos alpha, sorry, cos alpha is equal to what we will get here? 1 by a and root under 1 by a square plus 1 by b square. Same sign, alpha we will get here this. 1 by b and this part okay so there is no need of this okay there is this is the raw part okay this is the raw part to understand just we need what is this p value comparing we need to this p value so what we get here comparing with this much we get we get what p is equal to this is p this p is equal to what we get here 1 by 1 by root under 1 by a square plus b square. You can see the You this is the reference center line, okay? And write this below, this line. Now, what we can do? Now, when we square both sides, squaring both sides. Squaring both sides. When we square both sides, this will be what? p square is equal to 1 square is 1. And this will get what? 1 by a square plus 1 by b square. Got it? Now, when we reciprocate it, see there, this is rough, I am going to tell you. Suppose this is our uh, a square by b square is equal to c square by d square. Okay? Then we can reciprocate it. That means this denominator will be numerator and numerator will be denominator that means reverse this up and down this is b square by a square is equal to uh, d square by c square okay we will get same here and to check whether it is right or wrong see there a when we cross multiply a square d square here so we will get what a square d square is equal to here b square c square also b square c square same we will get over so the main things what we will do reverse this here but in the same fashion, suppose there is our only a is equal to 1 by b, okay, or suppose this is our 1 by b, then when we reciprocate it, there is, uh, there is no, nothing means there is 1, so this can be written as what, 1 by a, this can be written as what, 1 by a is equal to 1 by b, 1 by b can be written as b by 1, that means 1 by a is equal to b, okay, this is the rough part to understand, this is no need. Now, when you reciprocate it, now this can be written as what? 1 by p square is equal to this all part will be written where? 1 by a square plus 1 by b square. This is denominator part is written as numerator and this is numerator part is denominator. Now, this is down nothing. Suppose this is our 1 by 
Suppose this is our a part. This all part is a and divided by one. That means this can be written as a only. Therefore, we can write therefore one by p a square is equal to now no need of this. So we can write here now one by a square plus one by b a square. Okay. Uh, into normal form. Transform the equation into normal form and show that one by show that okay one by a square plus one by b square is one by b square. This is proved here. Okay. Now we can reverse. Therefore, okay, this is one line. Okay, right there, right there. Okay, uh, this implies. Therefore, one by that. Okay, same line. One by a is the right. This right, uh, right side to left and left to right. 1 by a square plus 1 by b a square is equal to 1 by p a square. Uh, hence proved. So that there is a so hence hence proved. So dear students, this is the required solution uh, for this uh, question. Uh, I already told you in the beginning that uh, there is two methods. Same question is uh, in exercise 7.6. Question at uh, number is question seven. And uh, that video link I'll provide in the description of the video or in the comment box. You can do either this method or that method, okay? Yes, I have been doing from last to uh, first, okay? That is my, uh, okay? That I follow mostly, okay? Uh, so first I, I had uh, done that exercise 7.6, now I am going 7.4. So uh, don't skip the videos, otherwise you will not understand what is going on. Okay. So watch the video. Okay. And if you don't understand, uh, use your earphone uh, because there is a lot of noise in my room. What can I do? I cannot. Uh, okay. Uh, manage all things I have, as I have single room. Uh, so dear students, if you are finding this video useful and helpful, then share with your friends. Okay. Keep watching. Keep supporting. Uh, and uh, okay, see you in the next video. Radhe Radhe, Jai Sri Krishna.